Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. This is another video in our series of Divi for Beginners. In our last video, we showed you how to set the home page and we had a simple little page here. In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to create an anchor tag for this button and use a CSS ID to link it wherever you wanna link it on your page. Of course, you can link it off page too, but we're gonna focus on on-page anchor tag linking today. So let's get started. I'm gonna enable the Visual Builder. Just for fun, let's add a new button, then we'll add links to these existing buttons here. I'm gonna roll down just a little bit and let's place a little button below here. I'm gonna hit the add new button or add new module, I should say. I'm gonna use a button module for mine. There's a button that comes in with our default colors there. Not gonna do much, I am gonna pop it in the middle. Okay, well if we roll down this page, we've got a little contact form here. And say we wanna, when people click on this button, we want it to roll down to our contact form. What we've gotta do is use what they call a CSS ID to identify where we wanna go, and then we can use what they call an anchor tag to get there. So let's save this. We'll go into the section where we wanna go and you can use anchor tags to get to sections. You can anchor tag to rows. You can even anchor tag to a module if you want to. And it's a great way of navigating down the page, getting your users to go where you want them to go. So we wanna to link to this section here. Now, normally when you link to it, it'll roll up to the top of the page, but this is on the bottom, so it can only go this far up. And I'll demonstrate that with some other sections in a minute. Right, well, I'm gonna go into this section. I'm gonna go over to advanced, and if you looked at our modules breakdown, you'll know that all these have these in common, and this is where you'll find CSS IDs and classes. Let's click on that. We wanna use CSS ID today, not CSS classes. This won't work with classes, so make sure you're in the ID. Now we can give our section a unique name, and it has to be unique. You don't want anything else with the same name. So that I'm just gonna call mine contact. Keep it simple because it's a sort of little contact section here. We'll save it. Remember that contact CSS ID, or I guess I could have copied it. Now, wherever button you want, and you could do it with any button. We're gonna do it with this one. We can go into the button. We can go into the link. Button link URL. With anchor tags, you always have to put a hashtag in first before the CSS ID. So it's hashtag, and then the CSS ID that we gave it, which was contact. Now, if I save this, button link target, it's on the same page. So obviously you want it in the same window. You don't want, any, want it opening in a new tab. So make sure you've got it in the same window there. Let's save this. We'll save our page changes quickly. Let's exit the Visual Builder. Now, if we roll down to where that button was, there we are. If I click on it, it's gonna roll down to our contact section. Like I say, if this was anywhere other than on the bottom, it would take that up to just below our little nav bar there. Let's just demonstrate that quickly with another section, and it's exactly the same principle. Let's enable the Visual Builder. Let's have a bit of fun this time. Here's our top hero section. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna give this a CSS ID, say page top. Remember it wants to be unique. Okay, let's go down. We'll give this a little CSS ID, this section here. Hit the cog, over to advanced, CSS ID. I'm going to call this about. Okay, let's go down here. We did this section right here. I think we've got enough room. Let's call this one services. Advanced CSS IDs and classes. I'm going to call services. And let's have a bit of fun. I'm going to add a little button under this one. I'm just going to use an icon. 
with an up arrow. There's an up arrow there, but I'm going to use a different one. Let's use that one right there. We'll make it the same color as everything else. Over in design, icon, icon, color. Make it blue. And over in the link, link's always under content. I'm going to link it. We gave that one page top. So I'm going to say hashtag page top. So if they click on that, it'll take them to the top of the page. We call this one services. I'll use this one to go back up to this section, which we called about. So this button here, let's go into this call to action module. Content. Link's always under content. There we go. Button link. It's already got a hashtag in there. If it hasn't, make sure you put one in there. And we'll go to the about. I call that one about. And this little button up here that we created just earlier. Oh, well, let's use this button right here. We'll take them to the services with this one. Content. Link's always under content. Closing up the text. Here's the link. Button link. And it was services, wasn't it? Great. I just want to check something, make sure it was page top and not top page, because if you get the CSS ID name wrong on a button, it's not going to work. Yeah, it was page top. Great. We're happy. Hit the little purple button. We'll save. Let's exit the visual builder. OK, our first one's going to take us down. I think it was to the services. There it is right there. That little button or that little icon. Take us back to the top. Fantastic. If we roll down, we've got this other button that's going to take us down to the contact form. Great. If we roll up, we've got this little button here. It's going to take us back up to our about section. And that's a great way of getting people around your page. It really is. So there you go, guys. There's how to use anchor tags to take link buttons to various sections, rows, or modules on your site. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Or make a little demo video like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.